आज आज हम लोगों के रिसोर्स पर्सन हैं डॉक्टर अमनदीप सिंह बाकी कुछ इंट्रोड्यूस करने के पहले सबसे बड़ी बात मैं आज अपने को प्राउड फील कर रहा हूं अमनदीप मेरे स्टूडेंट रहे हैं एलएलबी उन्होंने कानपुर से किया है एलएलएम उन्होंने नेशनल लॉ स्कूल ऑफ इंडिया यूनिवर्सिटी बेंगलोर से किया है और इस समय डॉक्टर राम मनोहर लोहिया नेशनल लॉ यूनिवर्सिटी लखनऊ में हैं। आज हम लोग इस क्लास में वेलकम करते हैं अमनदीप का और ये उम्मीद करेंगे कि हमारे स्टूडेंट्स को उनसे बहुत बेनिफिट मिलेगा कल भी उन्हीं की क्लास रहेगी और फिर आगे जब भी मौका मिलेगा हम लोग उन्हें बुलाएंगे ठीक है शुरू कर सकते हो सर सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू फॉर योर काइंड वर्ड्स It has been uh, something is uh, becoming so important these days that we need to have uh, some kind of discussion, some kind of deliberation, some kind of debate regarding that. i want to thanks before i start the organizers rk pandya sir and other staff to have to to convene this kind of a, a, a academic exercise where wherein we can where we are uh, where we would be discussing uh, the important uh, the important uh, aspects that are again that uh, that are related to the legal field i went through the whole uh, the 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 topics which were there and let me tell you that uh, bahut acche se uh, har cheez ko frame kiya hai sir and this would be very beneficial for everyone today basically i would be talking about automation and legal aspects to begin with let me just tell you the background and the background is that if we talk about the technique the technology jis pe ki pura ka pura jo automation jo based hai so we have the whole development of cyber world behind this in short agar mujhe ye cheez aapke sath share karni hai ki kis stage par hum hain is samay cyber space point of views So let me tell you, we are in the stage of Web 5.0. When I say Web 5.0, my focus is on open, linked, and intelligent web. The web we have, the internet we have, the technique, the technological development we have, the online developments that are taking place around us, especially 2010 onwards. The thing is, we are at the most advanced. level of cyber space and again i won't take much of your time here i will just tell you the main feature of this and the main feature is the convergence by convergence aapko ye samajhna hai ki the different devices which we have which we had earlier now they have confined they may now they have they have come down to one same device one single device बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल इसका जो है वो हमारा लैपटॉप कह सकते हो या स्मार्टफोन आप कह सकते हो तो वी 
were having range of different devices. We have we were having a range of different gadgets. Now the thing is, with one with one gadget with one device, we are performing lots of functions. So this is the level of advancement which we have seen in terms of cyberspace, in terms of the internet development. So please keep this in mind. I would be telling you why I'm saying so. So keep this in mind that we are in at the stage of open linked and intelligent web, where our web, where web has become open, it has become linked, it is intelligent, it is emotionally intelligent. Lots of other developments have taken place, which I would be sharing with all of you. So we are at this stage. And this stage which we are going through, this has been in the past decade, 2010 to 2022, the current time period. So there has been, there has been lots of lots of developments in this regard. So please keep this in mind. This is the stage of cyberspace, which I want you to keep in mind before we come to our main issue. So we are done with this. Just keep this in mind. We are at this stage, at this advanced stage of cyberspace. Now coming to the, the other aspect which I want to attach here. First, February. Again, great day, great day, a very special day for India. And the specialty or the new, the, the unique thing about this is that the government comes up with its budget. And here also the finance minister, she came up with budget and the thing which, which she came up with, the thing which is, which is important for today's discussion is that she came up with a she came up with a plan to promote 5G in our country. All right. Again, we all understand. We all understand. We all understand that every developmental activity, every important concern, or you can say any development becomes important. Any concern becomes important when it gets big push from the government. Here also. Here also something very special has come out of this budget. The, the, most, the most important thing, the most uh, enabling thing which has come out of this budget or this recent budget is the, the, the way government, the government has made a plan to promote 5G in the country. So this is that 5G, 5G coming up, 5G coming up and again, you have to keep that that we were already we were already at the advanced stage of cyberspace and now the thing is with this with this recent budget with the recent discussion or the the speech made by the finance minister categorically talked about promoting 5g in the country and this would be ye let me tell you how. Let me explain you how. Why I am connecting 5G with the stage of cyberspace we are going through is because this technique, this technology would be providing connectivity, friends. It would be providing storage. It would be providing computing power. All right. So when we would be shifting towards 5G when 5G would be implemented. The thing is, it would provide connectivity. It would provide storage. It would provide computing power. And let me tell you, let me tell you that these three connectivity, first, second storage, and third computing power, these three Friends are the foundations for enabling Internet of Things. These three are the foundations for enabling Internet of Things. When I'm saying Internet of Things, please keep this in mind. Internet of Things means the billion of or uh, the uh, all devices on this earth which are connected with Internet. So you would have seen that our 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 our, our appliances, our, our our home appliances, our 
day to day requirement the, the appliances which we require uh, for a day to day requirement they are becoming smart day after day so smart devices again smartness it, it is based on the fact that they all are connected with internet so iot denotes that so iot jo hai iot ka jo base hai iska jo scope hai that will be expanded that would be expanded by the 5g the adoption of 5g and please attach this with the machine vision you attach this with artificial intelligence you attach this with machine learning you attach this with deep learning you attach this with wireless sensors all right so this is this is there this is there so this would be enabling these 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 techniques and the result would be the result would be when 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 connectivity would, would be provided when storage would be provided when computing power would be given it would expand iot it would it would expand it would expand these techniques machine vision would be would, would become advanced artificial intelligence will more will become more smarter machine learning would be advanced deep learning would be advanced wireless sensors would be advanced and here let me tell you that this 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 5g would be a game changer friends it would be a game changer because it has a low latency low latency of a uh, 5g has low latency means that it 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 has a high bandwidth its connectivity it provides more connectivity so the thing would be that it would capture real time insight into manufacturing operation so real time jo advancement jo real time jo technology push chahiye that would be provided by 5g and and friends this would give big push to automation jo automation hai jo 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 automation uh, jitna bhi development automation se related hamare aas paas ho raha hai this would provide a big push to this here there are two things which you have to understand first is it provide it would provide big push to automation this in you can you, you can take it in this manner ki 5g jab hum adopt karenge tab automation promote hoga or it can be understood in other manner that it is it would be giving push to already existing automation so let me make it very clear to all of you friends that this automation already existing automation is already existing so already existing automation would also be developed it's not that 5g am adopt karenge then we will shift for automation i would be i would be sharing slides with all of you i would be sharing many aspects related to automation with all of you and you will see that these are already existing we are already living in automated or auto automated world so this is this is a new thing which is there and i want to thanks uh, 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 rk pandey sir and the other staff that they have come up with this topic why i am saying so because these are the new areas and this would be helping you at every level at every level at graduation level at at, at post graduation level in your research you can work on this you can become specialized in these these new aspects of law so these are the new areas and this is where the whole world is shifting towards so you can prepare yourself for these new things these new developments and what aspect what legal aspects are related to these new developments that are taking place so please keep this in mind please keep this in mind the big push which is which the government is providing towards this and this would be the game changer this would be the this would change the entire game i would be telling you how so keep this in mind that we are already living in the in in a, in a automated automated world all right so let there are different there are there are variety of dimensions there are different dimensions variety of dimensions of automation wherein 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 we are being facilitated the society is being facilitated the countries are being facilitated different departments are becoming are 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 are, are being facilitated different ministries are 
be, uh, uh, being facilitated. We all, common, common, common man, families, societies, they are being facilitated. So this is that automation which we would, which we would be talking about. So now, now again, now again, now let's let's go more, more, more deeper into automation. Let's now involve ourselves more into this, into this, into into this, uh, into this uh, new kind of development or the or the, or or the way things are becoming automated. So when you talk about or automation the thing is the uh, the thing is that we 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 have two 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 aspects first is automated decisions and second is the problem solving by machines automated decisions again the decisions when i'm when i'm saying automated decisions when i'm saying problem solving by machines so here the thing is here the thing is or here the point which i want to raise is that these two aspects the decisions would were, were made problems are solved by humans so these 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 these, these uh, issues were taken care by humans now the thing is this is the, there is automation automation with which which, which 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 has which has replaced which has replaced humans so basically the work the basically the task which was done by humans the same the same set of things are being are being done by the automated agents machines so this is what we have to keep in mind automated decisions problem solving by machines and which was basically done by humans this is this is this is this is this is what this is what we have this is what we have to keep in mind this is what you have to always understand And let me tell you, you have to be aware of all the recent developments that are taking place in the field of automation. You have to update yourself. Daily newspaper, there are news. Every news that is related to automation, again, you have to pen it down. And again, on the base, on on uh, you can you can develop your understanding on the basis on the basis of that news which you will get. There. So please be aware of the. The developments, the developments taking place in in the field of automation at international and national level. So this is the automation. Now I would be now I would be sharing. I now I would be sharing few 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 uh, 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 successful projects, or you can say invented in a, a certain inventions in automation. And again, we will see how how important the what role they have been playing. So this was the, what uh, what I want to show. What I want to show you here is that this a uh, GM Incorporation. This is a technology company which is headquartered in California. This was founded and in, in 2015, and this was an automated food delivery company. Automated food delivery company. All right. Here there are two pics which I want to share with all with all of you. Here we had this automated machine again, which was which uh, which uh, uh, prepared the pizza and again that was delivered. So food delivery and then again the preparation was done by the automated agent here. So this is a reality. This is a reality. And again I would come back to that point that this is already existing automation is already existing again which would be living which would be getting a big push by this 5g thing then coming to the second example the second example is this a yelp eat 24 a delivery robot and this is uh, uh, this is uh, uh, from san francisco so here you can see this is a delivery robot and again there are apps there are set of commands and again when you order and again the delivery is done through this robot so this is a yelp 824 delivery robot in san francisco this is a reality there this is a reality there it's quite common that you would be 
uh, running and again you will find some robot delivery robot coming so this is again the reality this is how the things are changing earlier we had delivery boys now the thing is again now we have this delivery robots so um again coming to the point that this automation again it is being accepted now this is being used this is being adopted again and it, it is becoming quite popular among 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 people in different countries depending on the advancement they have made in this regard then we have another aspect we all know uh, babysitter the importance of babysitter again we all know uh, like uh, for for small babies again for uh, especially for those uh, for those uh, parents who um, uh, those who are working again for them uh, again it's a, a, a very challenging task to take care of their kid so here the thing is to 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 fill this vacuum to uh, to to help in this regard uh, i pal a child size three fit size a child size robot was designed and that was taken that that was designed to take on distinctly adult responsibilities so we had this we had this i pal and um, again it was based on it was based on the the commands and again uh, the the primary task of uh, uh, of uh, this robot is to just to take the adult responsibilities so earlier which was which was taken care by humans now uh, again the robots have been designed robots have been uh, robots have been made made to take care of the children so this is another 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 important development that has taken place and again that is the reality which we have seen now coming to uh, another 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 uh, another example another uh, that is uh, obi this robot helps physically disabled people feed themselves again uh, for physically uh, some someone becoming physically disabled for for for, for those persons uh, feeding themselves feeding becomes so important as feeding becomes very challenging and uh, again they have to rely on caretakers to eat their food and here the obi robot it gives them a sense of independence it gives the disabled physically disabled people a sense of independence and uh, the 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 whole thing here is that this simple device comes with a spoon plate and battery and uh, again it picks up picks up food from the bowl like compartment and delivers it to the eater's mouth the arm can be set to reach any position so this is that robot which i want to tell you this is the the level of automation that has been done so again this is performing a very important task and again a very important section have been taken 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 into consideration here by the by by the by the manufacturing uh, by, the, by the by the manufacturers of this uh, this uh, this type of robot a great a great development in this regard then we have another thing uh, again in the recent uh, years uh, when again due to this covid restrictions and uh, we were not allowing uh, uh, servants servants and uh, again Uh, during that situation is a uh, robotic vacuum mops they became quite popular and again lots of uh, reputed companies have entered in this area uh, even the euroca hopes very popular company in india they have been they uh, their uh, vacuum mop is becoming very popular and again for 20 to 25000 we get this and again it takes care it keeps your uh, house clean so this is another set of automation which is there then we have another important area we have robot waiters in restaurants we have restaurants and again it was basically started in chennai and then again we have uh, uh, then later it was uh, later in bangalore also then in bhubaneswar also uh, the same the same kind of facilities were introduced so robot waiters all right so here you can see uh, the kids enjoying with the robot uh, waiters uh, this is uh, 
take taken from the Chen, uh, Chennai restaurant where it was introduced for the very first time. Uh, these robots were important from were imported from China, and each uh, robot, uh, the cost of each robot was rupees five lakh. And again, it, uh, uh, it, it these waiters took care of everything. And again, uh, there was a uh, there was a device which was attached to every table. There, uh, the uh, the consumers had to uh, had to enter whatever they wanted to order. And again, they receive they receive the message. And again, the delivery is made by the robot waiters. So this is. Uh, again, showing that automation, the level of automation that has taken place. So this is uh, from Bhubaneswar, a robo chef. A first of its kind of a restaurant. This has two robots that interact with customers and serve food. And they have been named, local names have been given to these two robots, Champa and Chameli. And uh, these two robots, they again perform that task which was earlier, earlier performed by the waiters. So this is the automation. Then we have robotic umpires in major legal uh, in major league baseball and uh, again uh, baseball is quite popular in western countries and uh, again in uh, in the in the sports in the sports robotic umpires have been introduced uh, let me tell you mlb uh, major league baseball this is uh, one of the one of the oldest uh, club uh, again associated with uh, the sports of baseball and then they have introduced the robotic umpires so again the earlier the task which was performed by the humans now we have robotic umpires for them then we have, have um, another now we would be shifting towards some other dimensions again which will uh, which will be which will be uh, again uh, which would be more problematic so we have automated weapons uh, again uh, you would have seen, you would have noticed that uh, year after year, uh, different countries, according to their research and development, according to their uh, defense research and development, they are coming up with automated weapons. And uh, again, earlier we used to have infantry, and now now that is being that that is being replaced by these automated weapons. And uh, God forbid, if there would be another uh, world war, and uh, it's uh, like. Uh, uh, it would be uh, more and more automated weapons would be used in that in, in in that case because the world over the countries they are they are coming up with automated weapons so again a big a, 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 a big thing happening around us and again related to the defense capabilities and uh, every country every country they are they are developing themselves they are coming up with uh, these kind of developments and again uh, to make them more secure then we have another aspect which we, uh, as a policy maker, which we, the people from legal field, uh, have been talking about a lot. And we have these UAVs, unmanned air vehicles. There are different dimensions for this. And I would be sharing a few dimensions. First is you can uh, just take this in mind that we have drones. And drones are being used for delivery purpose, for construction. In construction sites, we use drones. Again, in marriages also, you would have seen that there is lots of uh, photographies uh, being done by these uh, unmanned air vehicles. Then disaster response, wherever there is any disaster, there also drones have been playing very important role, again, for a different kind of uh, uh, deliveries of medicine, of food, of taking pictures. Then agriculture, forestry, fisheries, this has been uh, very important for infrastructure inspection. Inspection purpose that is being used for security also, drones are being used. So these are unmanned air vehicles, again, becoming very, very popular. And here also, friends, uh, we have ultimately the automation thing, which is there. Then this unmanned aircraft system, which we were talking about, this is used for traffic management also, more near to the, the legal aspects. So here we have these unmanned aircraft system, and which is being used in different countries, in their advanced countries and which is being used for traffic management. So again, uh, humans, they have their own limitations. And uh, to overcome those limitations, we are relying more and more on unmanned aircraft systems. So these are the new developments which we have to uh, keep in mind. Then we have a defense purpose. Uh, again, and you can attach that with the automated weapons. We have these uh, drones 
again, which could be used for uh, the, the attacking purpose. And again, let me tell you that uh, so much advancement, advancement has been done, so much automation has been done uh, in the field of weapons, in the field of defense, that again, uh, and then that again, uh, that if there will be any war again between uh, developed countries, and again, definitely these automated devices, automated uh, uh, machines uh, would be would be would be used in a, in a, in a, in, a, in a big uh, way. Then we have another aspect which you have to keep in mind. Again, we have lots of legal aspects related to this, and we have, uh, for example, we have this a GE a medical robot. And uh, again, the purpose of which was to lighten the load on doctors by automating medical equipment sterilization. So we have this uh, uh, robots in medical uh, medical field. Again, we are uh, having this uh, robot uh, nurses. And uh, again, then we have uh, this kind of a facility, this kind of facility which was introduced during the COVID and the, and the during the COVID uh, uh, pandemic, we which we have been going through. So these are the developments in the field of uh, medical, and uh, uh, and again they have been they have been used uh, in a great uh, manner. Then we have another aspect which is related to which we have to be which we have to be clear. These are self-driven cars. And uh, again, you would have seen that uh, uh, Google or different companies, they are coming, Tesla, they all are coming with, they all are coming up with a different uh, 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 different cars or different uh, sizes. And these are self-driven cars. These are based on the commands. Uh, these are based on the set, set, of, uh, set of commands. And again, uh, where there's uh, no driver is required. And again, they know how to park themselves they know how where to turn how to turn when to turn so everything every command has been set and again on the basis of that command they they function so we have self-driven cars and this is also the automation example of automation which is taking place around this so please keep this in mind then uh, we have uh, the robot uh, priests and uh, which can bless us advise us they can even perform uh, funerals. So in different countries like Japan, we have these uh, robots. And here in India also, uh, in the, uh, Ganesh Pusaf, uh, we have uh, uh, these robots doing Aarti. So this, is now, this has the religious touch also. They have entered this spiritual field also. So this is just to give an impression that the advancement that has taken place in the field of automation. Uh, and I think uh, this is the reason that why so many so many movies also because movies are also the reflections of society. And uh, I Robot coming up in 2004, then the South South movie Robot, then um, Robot 2.0, and then this I Am Mother, uh, 2019 Australian science fiction thriller directed by Grant Swator. So these are the movies also now uh, they they are becoming quite hit. And again, these are these movies are the reflection of the fact. These are the reflection of the realities that the automation automation is taking over, and that 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 is that is developing day in day in day out. So this is uh, uh, these are the examples. These were the examples which I wanted to share. Now coming to the automation thing. Uh, about automation, uh, let me tell you that. Uh, now you have uh, we have talked about the the stage of cyberspace we are going through we have talked about the recent budget wherein uh, the efforts or wherein the plan has been made to uh, to promote 5g in the country and which would be enabling which would be giving a big push to the automation or which would be giving a big push to already existing automation in the society and we have seen examples of automation we have seen self driven cars we have seen uh, medical robots we have seen uh, babysitters uh, robots we have seen uh, vacuum vacuum mops we have we have seen delivery robots we have seen uh, 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 automated weapons we have seen uh, unmanned air 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 vehicles used for security used for 
delivery purpose use use and disaster management all right so we have this 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 this, this lots of examples lots of automation around us so the thing is what what we what we have to understand here is now coming to now coming now coming to the some theory part now please please take these automated machines please take this automation that is that is that is happening around us that has developed around us these are these machines are basically physical agents that are performing a variety of tasks by manipulating the physical world all right so whatever was existing in physical form now uh, in, 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 in uh, what was done by humans in in, uh, in other words now those now those tasks are being performed by these automated machines so these automated agents so called automated agents which which with the examples i shared with all of you these agents are equipped with effectors like legs wheels arms grippers and the single purpose of the effectors is to exert physical force on the environment all right so for every kind of or every kind of action physical force is required on the environment and this is the effectors the effectors enable enable that and that is why that is why automated agents are becoming so important here the whole range of sensors are being used it's not that easy what what is enabling them to do these important tasks is they have cameras they have they are using sonars lidars radars lasers these 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 techniques they are using to assess and measure their environment as well as another another uh, other 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 tools to measure their own motion so they have become so advanced all right and that is why that is why that is why so much development we are we are we are seeing around us mostly mostly another thing is that there are different approaches to understand this now what i want to tell you here is that these are uh these these machines the automated machines which we which we have talked about the two examples maine aapke sath share kiye the you can you can put them you can put these machines you can put these automated agents into three primary categories three primary categories sabse pehla hai manipulators ye wo ye wo us tarike ke automated agents hai ye wo robots hai in other words which are physically anchored to their workplace ये फैक्ट्रीज में दे आर असेंबल्ड स्पेस स्टेशन में दे आर असेंबल्ड एंड अगेन उनका जो जो पूरा का पूरा जो मोशन होता है दैट दैट इन्वॉल्व्स अ चेन ऑफ कंट्रोलेबल जॉइंट्स इनेबलिंग देम टू प्लेस देयर इफेक्टर्स इन एनी पोजीशन विद इन द वर्क प्लेस अब जिस जिस तरीके से चाहे आप उनको प्रोग्राम प्रोग्राम कर सकते हैं एंड अगेन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट प्रोग्राम दे परफॉर्म देयर फंक्शन सो अगेन दे द मोस्ट जो इंडस्ट्रियल रोबोट्स हैं जो विच आर विच आर फाउंड हॉस्पिटल ऑटोमेटेड एजेंट्स हैं और जो ऑटोमेटेड रोबोट्स हैं देनुपुलेटर्स तो हम जितने भी ऑटोमेटेड मशीन जिनकी हमने बात की थी we can we can classify them again for our understanding hum inko teen categories mein divide kar sakte hain pehli category hai manipulators so we have this manipulators second we have mobile robots all right mobile robots ek other category hai they these robots have the ability to move about using wheels or robotic legs all right unmanned ground vehicles are there they can drive autonomously on streets highways also off roads unmanned air vehicles are there like drones they are commonly used for surveillance military operations agriculture in delivery of goods we have autonomous underwater vehicles which are used in deep sea exploration underwater searches the mobile robots can be used can be used for delivering food in hospitals moving containers in loading docks delivering packages to customers vacuuming floors in offices and homes so these are the mobile robots to so, jitne bhi examples aapne is tarike ke dekhe the like uh, like unmanned uh, unmanned vehicles or uh, this uh, mops vacuuming floor uh, floor mops again they come in that category the delivery robots they they are they all are mobile robot they all are 
mobile automated agents. So this is the or this is the automation which we, we which we have seen, which is again. I want to point out here, I want to raise this point that these are the existing technique, these are the existing automations around us, automations existing in the society. So this is the second category. Now coming to the third category and third category friends is the mobile manipulators. They are, they are referred as humanoid robots. They typically mimic the human torso Mobile manipulators, they can apply their effectors over a much larger area than typical manipulators, which are anchored. So they are more advanced. All right. Here you can see this. This, uh, uh, this is the first robot citizen. All right. Saudi Arabia give its uh, give give this give this uh, uh, robot a citizenship status. Sophia. Its name is Sophia. So she's uh, 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 th this robot has been this robot has been named Sophia and uh, this robot has been granted citizenship status. All right. So again, coming coming now now we are coming more near to the le legal aspects related to this automation thing. And this 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 robot, the second robot which you are seeing, this is the first medical medical nurse. And again, this was during the pandemic, the recent pandemic this robot was developed so these are these, these these kind of robot these kind of automated agents they come under the category of mobile manipulators so they 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 they, they are they are like they look like humans they are more they are more they are more advanced like than if you compare them with the other categories of the other categories of uh, or they are more near to the society they are more near they are more acceptable they are they are more normal in appearance so this is what is there and then let me let me let me tell you the level of advancement that is taking place before before i come to before i come to the other other, other dimensions the, the the level the level of this automation is the the, the level of the robotic automation is that today today we have this robo earth RoboEarth is a research project of European Union. Again, a very good, very good topic for your research. This is a collaboration between six European universities, wherein they are seeking to create robots' very own worldwide web. They want to create a different worldwide web, a separate worldwide web for robots. A vast network database, computation engine, jahan par ek robot would be sharing, one robot would be sharing information. What robot in one part of the world is learning, what information he is getting in one part of the world, that robot would be sharing that with other robots in different other, other, other parts of the world. So they would be they would be sharing their learning experience. They would be sharing their behavior. They would be sharing what are they are learning from their environment. So RoboEarth, then this, this is, you can take it as a cloud storage, computing for robots. Database is intended to store knowledge. So whatever is, whatever, whatever knowledge they are creating, whatever knowledge they are, they, are, they are gaining, they would be sharing that. And again, that would be used by humans also. This is this is what they want to what what they want to promote what they want to achieve. So here the the, the you can you can take the uh, you can just uh, you can just feel the level of advancement that they the, now they, there are projects which are working which are working for worldwide web another worldwide web all right and that for robots. So this is that that project. This again shows the, the the level of advancement that has taken place uh, in the field of automation now coming to now coming to because taking this into note taking all this into consideration taking taking robo earth and taking again science fictions again coming up with different stories different narratives 
related to automation. Automated agents performing almost every activity which uh, earlier humans were used. Now, the thing is, there are many, many legal aspects related to this. Again, we all are from legal field and we need to be, we need to have that impression. That in the light of, in the light of this development, in the light of these changes which are happening around us, again, what are the legal challenges? What are the legal issues? What are the legal hurdles? What are the new concerns? We need to be clear with that. Or especially, especially when we have, when, when we have these automated agents functional in legal field also. It's not that the legal field is an exception. Even in legal field, we even in the legal arena, even in the in in in, in the law in the area of law, these automated agents they they have they are becoming very popular. They have become very popular. And again, I I share one thing in my class that uh, in UK, in UK, forty eight percent of the, the law firms they 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 have adopted automated auto or or automated assistance they are using automated um, assist, assistant or management softwares so this i manage uh, ravn this is this is the most uh, popular legal document management software and it performs all the range of the range of activities again which are which are, which, which are required which are required in any legal firm documents how documents would be managed how filing would be done what are the keywords how summary has to be prepared how things have to be planned how line how things have to be lined up how mails have to be retrieved how online things have to be managed how offline things have to be managed Everything, everything is being managed. So we have we have great amount of automation, even in the legal field, even in the legal arena. So this is this is what you have to this is what you have to keep in mind. This this is something which makes it more important. And again, 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 going going back to that point, that uh, this is. Uh, uh, Again, uh, 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 you can say uh, something something very important for all of you, having this kind of discussion. Thanks to the organizers again, because these are these are the areas which we have to discuss. We cannot ignore. You may like may you may not like these kind of developments, but again, we cannot ignore these new de new developments. We cannot ignore these changes that are taking place and we uh, from legal field we need to be aware of what are the key challenges and how the world the world is responding to these new set of challenges new set of things new narratives that are taking place so now now coming to now coming to some concerns some legal concerns basically legal concerns which i want to share with all of you and i would be starting with just very basic thing that the traditional law which we have, the traditional law which we have, all right, traditional legal system which we have, whatever the tradition we have, that assumes there is an assumption that, that there are two actors. The assumption is, what we assume is, the traditional pattern that there are two 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 human actors we have injurer and second on the other hand we have victim the perpetrator and the victim this is this is this is normally normally the situation this is normally the situation this is the basic assumption we have 
but here the assumption assumption this assumption is assumption assumption is 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 losing 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 its losing its shine because of the advancement of the automated technologies automation ki wajah se automation ki wajah se this scenario this the traditional assumption ki ek perpetrator hai ek victim hai this is this is going down this is going down and the the automated agents which we have the automated robots which which we are being using they are insensitive they are insensitive to the threats of legal level what 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 makes us what 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 makes us a uh, controlled when we go out or we anywhere we are why we are controlled why our actions are controlled because we know we have a threat of legal liability we understand that threat we are sensitive to the threat of legal liability but these automated robots these automated agents which are there they they are insensitive they are insensitive to the threats of legal liability so the issue is ki hum inko regulate kaise kare ये जो नई क्लास जो डेवलप हो रही है जो नया एक 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 नई एंटिटीज जो डेवलप हो रही है ये जो नया बदलाव आ रहा है हाउ हाउ दे वुड बी हाउ 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 वी कैन हाउ वी कैन रेगुलेट देम दिस इज दिस इज समथिंग समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट 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 इज दैट इज टेकिंग प्लेस दैट नीड्स टू बी डिस्कस्ड and this would be this would be affecting the whole research and development that is taking place in the in this in the related to these advanced technologies future investment kitna hoga is 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 regard me again that has to be taken care that 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 affects that that affects that those who support these kind of robots those who support these kind of automated agents उनका मानना यह है कि वी आर एडोप्टिंग फॉर ऑटोमेटेड रोबोट्स वी आर गोइंग फॉर ऑटोमेशन हम ऑटोमेशन को इसलिए एक्सेप्ट कर रहे हैं क्योंकि क्योंकि जो ह्यूमन नेग्लिजेंस है वी वी वांट टू वी वांट टू गेट अवे विद ह्यूमन नेग्लिजेंस ह्यूमंस दे हैव देयर ओन शॉर्टकमिंग्स ह्यूमंस दे हैव देयर ओन लिमिटेशंस एंड ड्यू टू दोज लिमिटेशंस आपने देखा होगा we 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 again there is a negligence from our part or negligence ki wajah se negligence ki wajah se again again there are lots of legal issues there are lots of legal concerns for example human negligence ki wajah se agar accident hota hai to again that is very problematic that has to be taken care of और जो रोबोट दो जो ऑटोमेशन को जो 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 प्रमोट करते हैं जो ऑटोमेशन को सपोर्ट करते हैं उनका ये मानना है कि जो जो सोशल कॉस्ट होती है मशीन एरर की इट इज ड्रास्टिकली लोअर देन लोअर देन डेट ऑफ ह्यूमन नेग्लिजेंस भाई ये कहा जाता है कि जो जो मशीन्स हैं जो ऑटोमेटेड मशीन्स हैं ऑटोमेटेड एजेंट्स हैं दे आर इनसेंसिटिव टू द थ्रेट्स ऑफ लीगल लाइबिलिटी और दे आर इनसेंसिटिव तो दिस इज दिस इज अगेन इफ देर इज अ मशीन एरर इफ देर इज एन एरर एंड अगेन थिंग्स कैन गो इन द रॉन्ग डायरेक्शन तो अगेन डेट विल हैव अ सोशल कॉस्ट मगर जो जिसको सपोर्ट करते हैं देयर पॉइंट इज कि ये इवन अगर आप उसको मेजर भी करें अगर आप कंपेयर भी करें द सोशल कॉस्ट ऑफ द मशीन एरर एंड ऑन द अदर हैंड वी हैव सोशल कॉस्ट ऑफ द ह्यूमन नेग्लिजेंस द सोशल कॉस्ट ऑफ मशीन एरर जो है वो डेट इज लोअर देन लोअर देन द द सोशल कॉस्ट ऑफ द ह्यूमन नेग्लिजेंस तो दिस इज वाई डेट इज दिस इज अ रीजन वाई वी वाई देर आर सम अगेन always for they those who are always for uh, these kind of automated agents so the thing is we have to rethink the legal remedies legal remedies for 
अगर अगर कोई एरर हो जाता है ऑटोमेटेड एजेंट्स की वजह से ऑटोमेटेड रोबोट्स की वजह से ऑटोमेटेड रोबोट रोबोटिक अप्लायसेज की वजह से अगर कोई एरर हो जाता है तो अगेन वी हैव टू रीथिंक द लीगल रेमेडीज और यहां पर आपको एक चीज हमेशा ध्यान रखनी है कि वी हैव टू डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन द कंप्यूटराइज ट्रेडिशनल कंप्यूटराइज इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड ऑटोमेटेड रोबोटिक एप्लीकेशन लेट मी टेल यू वाई कंप्यूटराइज इंस्ट्रूमेंट जो होता है जो कंप्यूटर प्रोग्राम होता है दैट इज दैट दैट इज इंटेंडेड टू That that is intended to aid human choice, but जो automated robotic appliances है applications है they become an autonomous autonomous knowledge based learning system, autonomous knowledge based. They develop their own understanding. This is the advancement they have they have made. Automation की वजह से ऑटोमेशन की वजह से दे हैव बिकम मोर एडवांस्ड एंड टू सम एक्सटेंट दे आर एंड टू टू ग्रेटर एक्सटेंट नॉट टू सम एक्सटेंट टू ग्रेटर एक्सटेंट दे आर आउट परफॉर्मिंग आउट परफॉर्मिंग ह्यूमन एक्सपर्ट तो जो ऑटोमेशन है दैट इज अ सब्सटीट्यूट फॉर ह्यूमन लेबर दैट इज अ सब्सटीट्यूट फॉर ह्यूमन लेबर और जो मैकेनाइजेशन है जो कंप्यूटर मैकेनिज्म है जो कंप्यूटराइज इंस्ट्रूमेंट है दैट दैट कैन दैट कैन टेक प्लेस विदाउट ऑटोमेशन दैट कैन बी बेस्ड ऑन सर्टेन कमांड्स तो जो कंप्यूटराइज इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स हैं वी कैन टेक देम एज अ लेबर सेविंग डिवाइसेस बट जो रोबोटिक एप्लीकेशन है जो रोबोटिक ऑटोमेशन जो हमारे चारों तरफ हो रहा है दैट कैन बी टेकन एज The mind-saving devices, mind-saving devices, which again has to be taken care of, which makes them more important, which makes them more complex, because they are taking decisions of their own, on their own. They have been programmed in that manner. Open decisions, खुद ले रहे हैं. And this is what, this is what, this is what, uh, what is what is important from legal point of view. बट डिसीजन एल्गोरिथम ही है ना अगर हम मैथमेटिकल उसका बेसिस हम देखें तो दैट इज द बेसिस ऑफ देयर थिंकिंग द बेसिस ऑफ देयर फंक्शन इज द डिसीजन एल्गोरिथम एंड द थिंग इज दैट हाउ दे हैव टू एडजस्ट इन अनफोरसीन सर्कमस्टेंसेस दे आर इन अ पोजिशन to decide their action their their activities in unforeseen circumstances and that is why that is why that is why they are different from the computerized mechanisms computerized um, uh, arrangements and that is why a special legal treatment legal treatment is required for this automation that is happening around us स्पेशल ट्रीटमेंट चाहिए शेयरिंग यू एग्जाम्पल्स आई वॉन्ट ब्रिंग इन डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल वट एवर एग्जाम्पल इलेस्ट्रेशन आई गेव यू वट एवर स्लाइड वी हैव गोन थ्रू आई वुड बी यूजिंग दो स्लाइड एंड आई वुड बी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ डेट आई वुड बी टेलिंग यू हाउ दिंग इज वी हैव टू डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन कंप्यूटराइज एप्लीकेशन एंड द ऑटोमेटेड मैकेनिज्म ऑटोमेटेड रोबोटिक एप्लीकेशन ऑटोमेटिक रोबोटिक एप्लीकेशन है दे दे कैन टेक डिसीजन ऑन देर ओन दे हैव इन प्रोग्राम इन डेट मैनर और जब हम डिसीजन मेकिंग की बात करते हैं तो देर आर अनफोरसीन सर्कमस्टेंसेज इन डेट अनफोरसीन सर्कमस्टेंसेज दे हैव टू अगेन डिसाइड ऑन देर ओन हाउ दे वुड रिएक्ट टू डेट अनफोरसीन सर्कमस्टेंसेज अगर तो उनका जो भी एक्शन वो लेते हैं इफ अगेन देर इज नो ह्यूमन लॉस इफ देर इज नो सोशल लॉस अगेन दैट इज गुड फॉर द सोसाइटी एंड इफ 
god forbids if they take any act or if they if they, if they perform any activity which again which again which again cause creates or uh, results to damage then this is a big concern so this requires special legal treatment because there is a responsibility gap this who would be responsible this is the main concern who would be more responsible in that regard so kaha jata hai ki jo regulation of robots hai jo regulation of automated agents hai these are caused by the design limitations bhai aapne jis level jis 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 stage tak aapne cheezon ko design kiya hai us level tak again they will take care of everything aur jahan par aapki designing khatam hoti hai उसके बियॉन्ड अगर उस जो रोबोटिक ऑटोमेटेड एप्लीकेशन को अगर कोई नया सरकमस्टेंसेस को फेस करना पड़ता है कोई अनफोरसीन सिचुएशन को फेस करना पड़ता है देन इट कैन इट इट कैन इट कैन बिहेव इन दैट सिचुएशन इट वुड बी इट वुड बिहेव इन एन अनडिजायर्ड मैनर और वो अनडिजायर्ड मैनर कितना हार्मफुल है कितना घातक है दैट इज द मेन कंसर्न and if something wrong happens then who would be responsible ye jo responsibility gap hai this is what this is what this is what uh, this this is what again makes it very very important concern so the thing is jo 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 robots hain jo automated jo machines hain jo automated agents hain jo applications hain they they have the they have the capacity to accomplish both useful as well as harmful tasks getting it i repeat what i said jo robotic applications hain automated jo agents hain they are taken they are taken to be an entity who are who perform both useful as well as harmful task and these robots that is why they are being perceived in society as social actors जबकि जो लीगल स्कॉलर्स हैं जो लीगल फील्ड के जो लोग हैं जो लीगल एक्सपर्ट्स हैं दे रिकॉग्नाइज द रोबोट्स दीज ऑटोमेटेड एजेंट्स एज मेयरली फिजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स एंड नॉट सोशल एक्टर्स किसी को फिजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट समझने में किसी को सोशल एक्टर समझने में देर इज अ सी डिफरेंस देर इज अी डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू अंडरस्टैंडिंग्स टेकिंग सम वन एज a physical instrument taking some entity as a social actor and some have argued that and yahan par jo jo law ki baat aati hai jo legal concern jo aati hai which you have to understand this which you have to always keep in mind is ki ab is baat pe charcha hone lag gayi hai jitne bhi conferences ho rahi hain is 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 regard mein now they are talking about ki it would be more pragmatic it would be more uh, more important if we grant these these appliances these 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 automated agents a legal status you would have gone through ki uh, uh, humans ka legal status hota hai we we have a number of laws we have variety of laws wherein uh, the corporations are given legal status तो जिस तरीके से वी हैव गिवन लीगल स्टेटस टू कॉर्पोरेट कॉर्पोरेशन देर इज अ डिमांड एंड डिमांड इज टू गिव लीगल पर्सनहुड स्टेटस लीगल स्टेटस टू ऑटोमेटेड एजेंट्स और सबसे बड़ी बात जो आपको यहां पे जहन में रखनी है अगेन यू कैन यू कैन यू कैन राइट दैट दैट देर इज अ ब्लैक बॉक्स इशू black box issue black box problem and black box jo problem hai jo automation se jude hue i repeat there is a very important thing bahut deliberation hota hai is par and that is black box problem of automated agents automated robotic agents black box issue black box प्रॉब्लम जो है वो ये कहती है दैट नो वन 
including manufacturers can fully foresee robots future behavior koi bhi nahi jo manufacturing jo unit hai jo manufacturer hai jinhone design kiya hai pure robot robotic automated agent ko even they cannot foresee they cannot foresee at what would be the the future behavior of robots because there is a there are reasons to so, machine learning that is machine learning hai deep learning hai dynamic programming is required for designing these automated agents so this so we are never in a position we are never in a position to to have a come clear picture of their future behavior hum unko advance kar dete hain and again according to the the circumstances they have to take their action so the thing is there is a difficult accountability gap accountability gap jo hai na that that is something very problematic from legal point of view manufacturers ka kya accountability hogi जो उसको ऑपरेट कर रहे होंगे उनकी क्या अकाउंटेबिलिटी होगी तो दिस इज वाई दिस इज वाई लीगल पर्सनहुड की बात अक्सर की जाती है लीगल पर्सनहुड हम इनको दें ताकि अगेन अगेन द थिंग इज दे अकाउंटेबिलिटी गैप को हम फिल कर सके देन देर आर अदर चैलेंजेस ऑल्सो विच आर related to application of the traditional legal instruments to these kind of automated agents with legal personhood legal personhood ki hum baat to karte hain but again that is also problematic yahan par bhi concerns hai kyunki jo traditional jo rules hai hamare jo traditional legal rules and traditional jo law hai hamara it refers to human focus concepts willfulness foresee cheezon ko foresee karna foreseeability duty to act in good faith ye jo willfulness hai foreseeability hai to behave in good faith to uh, to uh, to act in good faith ye jo concepts hain ye jo traditional concepts hain legal concepts hain they are no longer fit into the new realities that are involving because of the automation kyunki unlike humans ye jo automated agents hain they are insulated from self interested incentives inka koi self interest nahi hota ye jo automated agents hote hain again which is a good thing which is a good aspect related to automated agents but again the subjectivity hai jo unforeseen circumstances mein jo human decision making hai jo good do to act in good faith action in good faith again that is something which is very problematic to fit in these automated agents और तभी जो जो डेलिब्रेशन हैं जो डिस्कशन हैं वो इस बात पे होते हैं कि अगेन देर शुड बी अ पॉसिबिलिटी टू मेक दीज ऑटोमेटेड एजेंट्स बेरर्स ऑफ राइट एंड ड्यूटीज होल्डर्स ऑफ एसेट्स लाइक कॉर्पोरेशन सो इनको कॉर्पोरेशन की तरीके हम ट्रीट करेंगे सो so, अगर पूरे तरीके रही तो टू सम एक्सटेंट थिंग्स कैन बी थिंग्स कैन बी थिंग्स कैन बी सेट इन द राइट डायरेक्शन दिस इज a good thing with it which is helping that is taking place agar hum legal aspect ki baat kare agar hum legal status ki baat kare worldwide so again there are number of examples i can share with you like uh, hong kong there was a capital fund venture capital fund in hong kong which gave which appointed a automated robot to its board of directors 
So you can see the, devil, the, the pace of development that has taken place. And the reason why, why that automated robot was, 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 was uh, appointed to the board of directors because he was, he was so advanced that he was in a position to identify market, market, market trends. So he was more influential than any, 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 any other, any other senior, senior director. So he was more advanced. We have aircraft autopilot. Unmanned aircrafts. Again, that is a reality. Then we have self-driving cars, which we have seen. That has become a now a part of our daily reality. Highly automated vehicles are coming up. Every, every year, year after year, companies are becoming advanced. They are doing advancement. अगर हम जापान की बात करें तो अगेन रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट व्हीकल एक्ट रोड ट्रैफिक एक्ट दे हैव बीन रिवाइज्ड ऑन द अकाउंट ऑफ द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ ऑटोनोमस व्हीकल्स ड्राइविंग ऑन पब्लिक रोड्स तो जो पॉलिसीज हैं जो लॉज हैं दे आर बीइंग दे आर बीइंग दे आर बीइंग दे आर बीइंग अमेंडेड इन दैट मैनर टू इनकॉर्पोरेट दीस न्यू ऑटोमेटेड रियलिटीज self driving softwares which are there again that are getting legal that are getting legal attention now medical robots again i gave you examples medical robots in e telemedicines e medicines they are coming up and they are they are very very they are very successful these automated appliances these robots automatic uh, agents they are very 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 smart and uh, they are they are they are, they they can outperform they are more um, you can say they they uh, they are more successful than humans in in in, in going for any uh, critical surgery so that is there that 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 is there and again a, a new kind of thought regime for medical robots is still evolving now there are discussions that if there will be again there should be a different thought standards or the liabilities if there is any any kind of uh, if, if there is any uh, accident and take this in the hospital because of these robotic nurses robotic doctors robotic appliances military robots which are there again i showed you the automated weapons so this is there and so the the whole concern regarding the, the the whole concern regarding the law is basically related to the what kind of the model of liability we would be having for these appliances so more or less more or less what you have to keep in mind is more or less what you have to keep in mind is that this responsibility gap has to be taken care who would be responsible that has to be fixed and again the maximum the maximum uh, the maximum notions which are coming the, the maximum narratives which are coming in this regard is that until and unless we won't provide them the legal status we won't provide them the person the legal person status until and unless they won't have rights and duties till then till then the responsibility gap cannot be filled or responsibility gap jo hai na filling that gap then only we we can be in a position to have some kind of to develop some kind of law in that regard so this is a reality everywhere so everywhere everywhere every different countries wherever these automated agents they are being promoted they are coming up with policy making they are they are coming up with they are coming up with new legal arrangements in this in this regard and again there are other issues also there are other legal issues also like i was uh, sharing that uh, uh, www for uh, robots where where i where i where i talked about that the robot in one part of the world or robot performing one set of function it would be sharing its information with other robot 
Say example, if a robot is taking, is a, is a caregiver, is accessing a private medical information or other personal data and without taking consent if that is shared with any other robot, then this will be a violation of the right to privacy which we have. So that has to be these again. This is another set of challenges which are there later to be automated agents. That they have to be, they have to be designed in a manner, they have to be framed in this manner, they have to work in the manner that they take care of, they take care of the existing laws which are there. And again, we all understand the, the importance of the sensitive personal data. If right to privacy, if you give importance to right to privacy, again, at most importance has to be given, at most protection has to be given to the sensitive personal data. This is what has to be taken care of here. Then this is, again, which I, uh, which I was talking about when we were talking about the legal concerns, autonomous vehicles are there. They were a big, big trend, but again, they are being criticized because of the malfunctioning and crashing. And this is because of the black box problem, which is there. Black box problem, where the manufacturers, even the manufacturers, even the brains behind these machines, they cannot foresee because of the machine learning, because of the advancement which is required for designing these kind of automated agents. They cannot foresee the future behavior of these machines. And again, the, the bad thing here is, the wrong development here is, and again, there are accidents. And again, that has a social cost. And again, that has to be taken care of. The responsibility policy makers have to be consider the potential challenges and safety concerns of this new technology, which is there. So again, coming back, coming down to the thing that safety concerns is something which is which is more important. And again, for that, for that again, we have to take care of this responsibility thing. If we talk about our own country, then the thing is that uh, we have to understand that. Uh, what developments in this regard are taking place in our country. So let me tell you that we have this AI strategy in India. And that strategy is, again, it, 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 it uh, came up from the side of Niti Aayog. Niti Aayog, a national strategy for artificial intelligence, again, which is very much related to automation, AI for all. So here the focus is not only on economic growth, the focus is on the social inclusion. Because many of the automated agents, ki, agents the functions perform, karte hai, again, they all are related to, they, they are related to social inclusion. So they have to be socially accepted. So the thing is, government is promoting research in this, in, in this area, and this, this is what uh, makes it quite important, which came with the 2018. And uh, again, it's collaborating with different stakeholders, collaborating with different experts. So the government wants to develop a vibrant automation ecosystem in India of AI ecosystem in India, which would be enabling this automation. This in health, agriculture, education, smart cities, infrastructure development, smart transportation, smart mobility. They want to promote it. They want internet in everything, in every device which, which we are using. So there are policy recommendations coming up from the Niti Aayog. And this is why, let me remind you, this is a very important aspect to be taken care of. And the good thing is that you are at this stage where things are being planned, things are being planned, things are being, things are being taken into consideration. 
सो अगर आज 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 से इसको फॉलो अप करते हैं इन 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 डेवलपमेंट्स को फॉलो अप करते हैं तो अगेन द वे दे विल द वे थिंग्स वुड बी प्लान द वे लीगल फ्रेमवर्क वुड बी डेवलप्ड यू कैन ऑल्सो डेवलप योर सेल्फ इन दैट रिगार्ड देर आर नंबर ऑफ इनिशिएटिव अगर हम रेशियो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्कीम बात करें तो देर वॉज इनिशिएटिव initiative from the ministry of electronics in this regard four committees were 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 constituted by ministry of electronics in this regard platforms data on artificial intelligence identifying national missions mapping technological capabilities cyber security mainly you are mainly this 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 talk is under the the cyber developments the cyber security cyber safety ethical issues all that has to be taken care the ministry of electronics that is now taking care now taking this automation very seriously then we have initiative by ministry of commerce and industry because nothing can survive nothing can develop without if it is not commercially viable so we have initiative by ministry of commerce and industry artificial intelligence task force ki baat ab ho rahi we have to manufacture fintech pe bahut development ho raha you can go through the budget there is there there is there are there are lots of things the which 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 have come up uh, in this budget which are related to fintech the inclusion of technology and finance then we have national artificial intelligence portal again which came up in 2020 this portal uh, the the uh, the aim of the government is that this portal would work as one stop digital platform for ai related developments in india then we have academic institutions iit kharagpur drdo iitm academic industrial collaboration in this regard then we have ai standardization in india big data ai they have been taken very seriously bureau of indian standard bis it is working in coordination with iso to come up with standard to come up with standard protocols स्टैंडर्ड्स होंगे तो अगेन इट वुड बी वेरी गुड देर मस्ट बी इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड्स इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड्स की वजह से अगर इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड्स को हम प्रमोट करते हैं तो अगेन दैट वुड बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम रेगुलेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इफ देर आर स्टैंडर्ड्स इफ देर आर इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड्स इट इज इजियर टू रेगुलेट दैट इट इज मोर इजी टू हैव अ लॉ इन दैट रिगार्ड वी हैव डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ टेलीकॉम विच इज वर्किंग इन दिस एरिया so this is just i wanted to share with you now coming to the last thing that why what we need in this regard first of all the thing is ki the uh, we need a proper research and development in this regard that should be beneficial that should promote social inclusion so jitne bhi jo directives hain jitne bhi jo initiatives hain by the ministry which are coming up they are helping in this regard then we have to take care of the economic and social impact agar hum self driven cars ki baat kar rahe hain to again what impact it could have on our traffic system on our traffic management again how much uh, it the, the social cost of that the social impact of that has to be taken into consideration accountability explainability this also is something which is very important from legal point of view accountability kis ki hogi if there is any accident that has to be taken care privacy issues hain you are talking you are talking about we are talking about that robots would be sharing information with other robots and again in this regard the sensitive personal data of people of humans must be taken into consideration ethical issues ki baat aati hai we have labor laws and one of the concern is ki if we will go more and more for automation 
again not choki the thing get ka jo development that depends on the productivity of its human capital or if you will go for 100% automation if you will go for automated agents and have, again there are no jobs again that would be also problematic so that could not be a right development a right balance ethical issues without ethics without ethics nothing 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 we have fundamental rights here ai safety another important thing related to social every point of view all digital and more more and more when we will go for automation we will become more digital then in that regard we have to we have to maintain security we have to be we have to we we need to have a proper security there need to be standards and again cyber security ki hum baat kare to again till we won't have standards again things can not be ensured softwares the rates the softwares have to come down the hardware the price must be come down again we we want every citizen to have a smartphone but quality smartphone quality devices for everyone must be the the basic idea which has to be promoted and apart from this there is one more area again which which you have to take into consideration which you have to take into note there are ipr issues also because there will be robots coming up with new products who would be having the ownership ipr ownership in that regard when it comes to software it is there are there are copyright issues patent issues that there are many other ipr issues also related to this so that also has to be taken care of and the way things are becoming automated the, the way we are going for automated agents again the production of ipr is also coming down there are lots of issues regarding it so this is the concerns which i wanted to share with all of you take this as a starting point take this as your connection with this area this area there are no there are standards we are working on this area the world is working in this regard and this is the right time to work in this field you can research upon this there are many aspects related to automation for example you can work only on ipr issues related to automation you can work only on cyber security issues you can work only on ethical issues privacy issues so please be connected for for you can to understand come up with your own questions in this regard that's it from my side if there is any query if there is any observation you all are welcome so i want to the waiting on behalf for step behind as a i so the way people uh, in it they no has but there are no legal framework that are being created in parliament uh, the the way the
Actually, well, even the manufacturer don't know uh, what. <laughs> इंडियन गवर्नमेंट इज एक्चुअली वर्किंग and in in term or or the uh, uh, even the scp policies are not being made uh, the ipr issues are not being taken care of in europe the uh, with respect to there are uh, the wipo issues for example the ipr to ipr that has been raised so there is no clear framework as as when it comes to indian side Uh, but when we compare it with us and china uh, the ai policies or even the in the discussion about the ai policies are on a much greater level one thing i want to uh, highlight here is that there are two dimensions related to any kind of development all well, at least keep this in mind first is institutional on the basis of institutional basis and second is whatever or you can take it in that manner that uh, whatever the new thing you are coming up with let me make it simple when i'm talking about institutional institutional arrangements is that when first you have to go for institutional changes only then you can go for any new kind of development new kind of uh, a new new kind of um, um, uh, you can say research that is coming up now coming up now uh, connecting it with what uh, we were talking about i was uh, basically we talked about automation automation again this is something I, in the first uh, in the first three slides i told you that uh, the 5g which is which which has come up from the side of the uh, government in the recent budget that that uh, uh, that 5g would be would be promoting this automation so one thing is it would be promoting automation but another aspect is another real aspect is it would be promoting already existing automation and whatever whatever slides i showed you the thing was i i shared with all of you the 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 examples the 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 the, the existing the existing Uh, uh automated appliances automated automated agents that are ex already existing in the in the society and again we have challenges that that that, that we have talked about and the most important is that the black box thing again wherein even the manufacturer even the brain even 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 the even the brain behind be, be behind those automated agents they cannot foresee the 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 the, the future the future behavior of that of that machine of that particular automated agent in this regard now coming and now coming now taking the example of our of um, of our own or uh, of, uh, of uh, our own reality in india the thing is though though those steps have been taken i i, I won't say that government is not doing anything in this regard all right government has come up with when when you go to the niti ayog website you will come across you will come across the responsibility thing the responsibility dimension to this artificial intelligence which is directly related to automation all right but again the thing is you just tell you just just think this that are we fully ready for 4g we are shifting towards 5g till till, till even today till today we are not fully equipped with we are not we have we haven't most of us majority of us have not fully utilized The, the 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 capacity the which 4g provides all right and now we are shifting we would be very soon we would be shifting to 5g so the thing is things are going things are shifting things are changing in 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 you can say uh, in greater pace than 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 we all we all uh, like like i will give example of the common man adapting to the new realities the adaptation is not to that extent the the level 
uh, the, the level at which th things are changing. All right. Then you can take example of IPR also, which you were pointing out. There are lots of IPR concerns. You were coming up with so advanced robots that they would be manufacturing their own products. Then who would be the owner of, who would, who would be having the IPR rights in that regard? Getting it? So then you are, you, you are coming up, you are going for more and more automation. Then what would be what what would be the uh, what would be the then uh, how the employment would be given? So these issues these issues have to be balanced. And until and unless until and unless uh, uh, the government will not come up with a balanced approach, things cannot things cannot go in the go in the right direction. As far as the steps taken by the government is so the best thing which which have which have which has come up on the government side is. Uh, again, this, uh, this, uh, uh, the, the initiative by METI, Ministry of Elect Electronics, and this, 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 uh, this, uh, this, uh, your, uh, this artificial intelligence portal, which, which they have come up. But again, how the things would be changing, the real, real dimensions, in reality, how things would be changing, that again, for we have to watch and see. So these are these are these example whatever initiatives which I shared with 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 uh, with all with uh, all of you was again you are right that we we are we were quite late in this regard because these all developments are just 2019-20 onwards. Well, just two three years ago we have we have, we we have taken them into consideration. But again but again here the thing is that in the past two years we the the, the pandemic we are going through. I think I think that. Uh, because of that, also things would not have uh, uh, gone in the uh, gone in the right direction, and very soon when we would be over with this thing again, the priority would be on, on to, towards this automation. And uh, one more thing that uh, one more thing and one more reality which again which is there that uh, these kind of issues, the automation issues, they have never been the primary concern. Why I'm saying so? Why I'm saying so? We are, we all are, uh, 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 we we all are like uh, going through this election process that is taking place. Very soon there would be elections, and again in some important states. Have you, have you, have you, have you heard about these automation issues? Have you heard about these concerns in any in any election manifesto? We have never, we have never attached this with 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 with. Uh, uh, th this with our day to day to day life, and this is this is where this is where uh, I want to thank the organizers to come up with these kind of these kind of topics, so that again we should be aware of we we should be aware of the realities that are happening around us, and again if that will first that should come in our thought process, only then we can work in this regard. So again, uh, going to the fact, though we are late, but still uh, some initiatives have been taken from the government side. Let's see how things turn up in the near future. So let's keep our fingers crossed and let's hope best in this regard. Because future lies in automation, let me tell you. This class also, this interaction also we are having, this is because of, again, the technique, the technology which, which, which is enabling this. Otherwise, it would not have been possible. So we have to, again, I told you, whether we like automation, whether we don't like automation, again, the thing is we have to, we cannot ignore these new realities, these new changes that are taking place, that are happening around us. Any other thing, any other... Uh, sir, I guess uh, that would, uh, as you as you mentioned, uh, the thing about adoption. So I believe it would lead to economic polarization. That uh, again, the rich will get richer and the poor poor will get poorer. So that that is the only no, future. This, this is a balance which has to be created. This would this is yeah. not only related to automation. This has been uh, this has been related to this. This is a situation in every new thing which 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 is uh, which we come up with. All right, we again that has to be this. A gap has to be maintained. So again, for that we need to we need to now we have to go for new kind of subsidies. All right, I all I all uh, I always talk about that. Earlier we used to talk about only a subsidy for diesel or for any other other commodities. Now the thing is we need to have subsidies for softwares. 
only then the 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 poor section would be going for these kind of uh, 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 the, uh, these kind of softwares which they, again which, which will provide them cyber security if we talk about in terms of cyber security so we need to reframe new 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 narratives new uh, again new standards have to be framed a new kind of subsidies must come up we want smartphones in everyone's hand but how secure is that smartphone that has to be taken care of and it's not that only those who can uh, those uh, those who can bear the expenses again that should be uh, for everyone it should be promoted in a way that everyone has a secure device if we want everyone to be connected only then we can wo kehte nahi hai ki we need to have a koi naya area bhi develop kiya rehta to wahan pe police station khol diya rehta तो द होल आइडिया इज टू दैट पीपल शुड फील सिक्योर देयर उसी तरीके से जब वी वांट एवरीवन टू बी कनेक्टेड वी वांट एवरीवन टू बी टू बी यूजिंग ऑटोमेटेड डिवाइसेस टू बी फैसिलिटेटेड बाय ऑटोमेशन देन अगेन वी नीड टू बी मेक देम वी नीड टू मेक देम अवेयर एंड वी नीड टू मेक देम हैव दोस दोस सिस्टम्स व्हिच विल एनेबल देम टू बी सिक्योर थी so mm-hmm. there has been a lot of issue regarding this that are we relying too much on ai and stuff and automation uh, because if the software can be just wrong that 96% probability thi ki he will lose but he still won the match so aren't we relying too much on automation and um, ai uh, uh kritika uh, what i would be uh, my uh, understanding regarding this is that uh, uh, see this is uh, equally applicable to the legal judgments also uh, there are uh, uh, these ai devices there are there are automated uh, agents which are helping in uh, 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 in this uh, coming up with decisions also they are uh, in mediation also all right and again uh, the the research which has been made the studies which have been made and uh, again there are different reports some say they are 70% more they are 70% accurate some say they are 80% accurate so again uh, accuracy is very subjective and uh, again uh, we need to understand that uh, they don't have the sensitivity all right uh, they 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 don't have that human touch and uh, again yes so uh, that uh, that was the issue that was the biggest limitation with these kind of uh, automated agents so i think over relying on these ai agents is not a good practice and again we need to uh, we we need to know that what are the good uses again there are two aspects related to any any technique there are good uses as well as those who are harmful uses so if some if something is going against the standards again we should not go for ai in that in, in that in that respect so we need to we we uh, detach ourselves from in this regard especially and that is why even in courts they have not been adopted in that manner as far as law firms for their office purpose they are using it but when it comes to decision making these ai devices are not being used so same parallel can be drawn here also okay so thank you for it Smriti, ma'am. Anyone else? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for the question. We have to learn more about that particular type of the different kinds of devices that are provided in the sector. Thanks, Smriti. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Sir, I think the host has disconnected. Okay, okay. no issue. Okay, let's keep it till here. Okay, so we will meet tomorrow then. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, thank you, sir.